listeners, welcome to another exciting episode of Aces and Kiss. The podcast brought to you by our sponsors from PNHS, the Command Center of Positive Influencers, and the Academy of Future Leaders. As always, it is a delight to introduce my podcast partner, who is fittingly pretty pink. Say hi, Kiss. Everyone, or should I say, hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Thank you to my fantastic but no-so-plastic podcast partner, Ace. Yes, please indulge us with our Barbie fantasy for today's episode. Because Aces and Kiss, the podcast, is officially beaten by the Barbie bag that has taken over the world. Everybody is obsessing about the new movie about the iconic doll, which is a staple of every girl's treasure trove of childhood toys, mine included. So Ace, are you ready to join the Barbie one wagon and talk about the film Barbie? Oh, I thought we're going to do a review of my favorite movie, Oppenheimer, about the inventor of the nuclear bomb. But yes, I will be your perfect can today and happily follow your lead. Of course, I am fascinated with the film as you are which makes Barbie so extraordinary because for a movie about a girl's favorite toy, the message and appeal is universal that it captivated boys and girls, the young and young at heart all alike. But for the benefit, our dear listeners, who are not so familiar with film. Can you give a background and hypnosis partner? Bradley, Barbie is a 2023 fantasy comedy film directed by Greta Gerwig from a screenplay she wrote with Noah Baumbach. Based on eponymous fashion dolls by Mathel, it is the first live-action Barbie film after numerous computer animated films and specials. The film stars Margot Robbie as the title character and Ryan Gosling as Ken and follows the pair on a journey of self-discovery through both Barbie land and real world following an essential crisis. The film is also commentary regarding patriarchy and the effects of feminism. Yes, not only is the film start studded, it is also, also much lauded by both critics and audience. The film reached what is described as Barbillion, having earned $1.46 billion dollars in gross receipts as of January 2024. Like the rest of the world, Philippines is also caught up with the Barbie fever. Here's a little trivia. Did you know that the film was almost banned in the Philippines because of its dictation of the Nine Dash Line, which supports China's claims over the distributed West Philippine Sea? The film was actually banned in Vietnam for similar similar reason. But good thing, Barbie was championed in the Dash Philippines by Senator Lisa Hunter Barras, who emphasized that Barbie fi- is fiction, and so is the Nine Dash line which dictated, and that the film is okay of for showing in the Philippine cinemas provided as disclaimer is shown at the beginning. Hooray for Senator Risa! This is way better than the suggestion of Senator Robin Padilla to edit or erase the scene depicting the nine dash line. Otherwise, the movie will be banned. For reference, the map showing the nine dash line was used as background in a scene wherein Barbie was consulting with Crazy Barbie about her problems. Barbie woke up one day with noticeable and Barbie like imperfections, literal flat feet, and cellulites. When she asked Crazy Barbie for a solution, Crazy Barbie advised her to travel from Barbie land into the real world to seek out the girl whose life is linked to her. That girl's personal issue and struggles could be causing Barbie's problems. The map could be seen at the back of Barbie during most of the dialogue. It would have been disastrous to cut or edit this scene entirely because it was such a pivotal moment in the movie. Wow, you really watched the film in the big screen? Because, you see... I watch it via movie streaming just like everyone else. Do tell us, how was the experience watching the movie in the theater? Well, nothing beats the experience of watching a movie in the cinema. I watch it together with my grandma Raven and my girly little sister MG. We also have male companions with us that time. My tito Jasper and my brother Quico. And let me tell you, all of us went out of the theater loving the movie. Tell us what is your favorite about the movie? But, <laughs> is such a visual treat. 
The live action dolls in their pretty clothes in their pretty houses. All the Barbie characters are adorable, but of course, my favorite is no surprise, the main character Barbie. Not only for her iconic looks, but for her storyline, how she is able to find her true self at the end of the movie. Of the non-Barbie character, my favorite is Gloria, the grown-up version of the girl who used to play Barbie. The part of Gloria was played by amazing America Ferreira who got nominated for Best Supporting Actress in this Oscar for this role. She gave this empowering speech in the movie which I want to deliver in this podcast, if you'd allow me. Yes, go ahead. I want to hear it. Well, I can only do an excerpt because of our limited time. Here it goes! It is literally impossible to be a woman. You are so beautiful and so smart, and it kills me that you don't think you're good enough. Like, we have to always be extraordinary, but somehow we're always doing it wrong. Thin but not too thin, and you can never say you wanna be thin. You have to say you wanna be healthy, but also you have to be thin. You have to have money, but you can ask for money because that's grass. You have to be boss, but you can be mean. You have to lead, but you can squash other people's ideas. You're supposed to love being a mother, but you don't talk about your kids all the damn time. You have to be a career woman, but also always be looking out for other people. You have to never get old, never be rude, never show off, never be selfish, never fall down, never fail, never show fear, never get out of the line. It's too hard, it's too contradictory, and nobody gives you a medal or says thank you. And it turns out in fact that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. I'm tired of watching myself and every single other woman tie herself into knots so that people will like us. And if all of that is also true for a doll, just representing a woman, then I don't even know. Yay, that was amazing, Barton. You two are deserving of an award for your delivery. There's so much to love about the movie. But we have to mention the music. How insane is that? The soundtracks in multiple dimensions from both movie and music guilds. My favorite is the Billy song, Billy Eilish song. What was I made for? I was made for. It won of Song of the Year at 2024 Grammys, and is a favorite of many of our podcast listeners. I want to bet this song will also win the Arcas for Best Original Song. If that happens, it will join the only two movie soundtracks that won both these awards. Could you guess? Only no one. My heart will go on by Celine Dion for the movie Titanic, which I watched last week, which I also want us to do a podcast about soon. I do not know the other one. What is it? Well, it it also popular especially in the Philippines. Because it is a duet involving our very own Leia Salonga in the voice of Jasmine. Cue a whole new world. Did you guess now? Oh yes, a whole new world from the movie Aladdin. The title perfectly sums up the movie ending for Barbie. Do you know that? Oh, really? How? It's my absolute favorite thing about the movie that, at the ending, it is a whole new world for Barbie and Ken. Who would have thought that these characters, who are regarded as models of perfection, are capable of transformation? They became better version of themselves, not by looking more physically beautiful, no, but in finally knowing that they can be much more than what the society hold them to be. Yes, Barbie is a model of beauty, that is true, which is why it is a compliment when a girl is compared to a Barbie doll. But Barbie, as I depicted in the film, transcends physical beauty. Barbie, like every real girl in the world like myself, is beautiful whatever shape, color, and size of shoes. She is never afraid to be individually unique, wear the clothes she wants, pursue the profession she excels in, and be beautiful for simply being herself. Wow, that is so deep, partner. But true, even for Ken's like me, that is why Barbie, the toy, and more so, the movie are 
so beloved because of the message they embody that is true, truthful, and universal. In a world so saturated with trends and influencers, be the Barbie and Ken of your own, your own world. The good thing is, you don't need to wear fashionable clothes to make a mark in the world. Wear your own authenticity. That is the best brand in the world for you. Amen, sister. And beautiful partnering words too. Because that is all the time we've got for you, our dear podcast listeners, for more good vibes and conversation like this, you are always welcome to come back and tune in another episode of Together, Aces and Kisses. Thank you. May your life be filled with aces and kisses always. Bye!